When asked on Campus Insiders what it would take to beat Alabama, Colorado State head coach Jim McElwain told us it would take for the Tide not to show up. So how will the Rams do in the other 11 games? Managing editor Pete Futak joins us. We're going to talk about the Tide in just a minute. Uh, 15 starters, though, back for this team, including three in the offensive line. Can Coach McElwain take this experience on offense and turn it into something tangible, namely victories on the field? Well, they've just got to find something that consistently works. And the problem has been ever since every coach who's tried ever since Sonny Lubick was rocking and rolling for the Rams, they've been trying to get that offensive line to get the running game to the power game. Every coach keeps talking about, okay, we've got to get physical, we've got to get nasty up front, and they have not been able to do it. What McElwain should be able to do is just generate a more consistent attack. As long as the offense is doing something right on a consistent basis to keep on moving, then yeah, those wins should start coming because you mentioned they do have starters returning. Uh, but again, they're not going to blow out the Alabamas of the world, but they've just got to be able to beat the mediocre Mountain West teams. If there is a weakness on the defense, it has to be the running game. Uh, just ranked seventh in the Mountain West. So are we going to see enough improvement on that side of the football, especially with Colorado there early in the schedule? Well, Colorado is not going to be the problem. Going along through the Alabamas of the world are going to be an issue for that front end. they got to get the pass rush going. That's what they can do. Colorado State can get to the quarterback on a regular basis with this defensive front. As long as they do that, the secondary should be all right, and everything kind of works from there. They are going to get blasted away by the better ground games. But, you know, the experience is going to have to account for something here. They've got enough playmakers. They've got a little bit of depth, depth now. They've got some options to play around with and find the right, right fit for this team. All right, Pete, I th think it's safe to assume Alabama's going to show up for that game. Uh, so, yeah. so that one aside, how do they do in the other 11 games? You know, what, it's going to be a little bit of a fight. They start out against Colorado. There's st Colorado State has still got a lot of work to do. They, don't, they have a talent efficiency compared to a lot of these teams on the slate. Alabama's obviously going to be a blowout loss. That's one of those paycheck games. McElwain's going to go back to his old place and lose that game. They've, they've got to beat Colorado to start the season. Going to Tulsa is not going to be easy. You know, going to places like Wyoming and Utah State are not going to be easy for them. They do host Boise State, Nevada, and Air Force, but still, they're going to probably be underdogs in those games. They're probably going to be 5-8 and eight to get that extra game because the Hawaii game. Uh, but if, a couple breaks here and there. They could get the seven wins, but they're going to need an upset or two to get there. All right, Pete, thanks very much. For more previews on all 12 Mountain West football teams and an entire conference outlook, check out the other videos only on campusinsiders.com.